Right now at 10 o'clock, there are multiple bills affecting the LGBTQ community that are up for debate at the Indiana legislature. But protesters are not the only ones coming out against the bills. Some local businesses are showing support as well. News 8's Danielle Zokoski joins us live now and tells us a little bit more about some of these businesses here in central Indiana. Danielle. Yes, of course, some of these businesses are coming out in support alongside people and protesters down at the state house. This is all coming after a group of bills that could affect LGBTQ people have been up for debate in the Indiana House and Senate. It shouldn't matter if I know somebody. It's a matter of respect. Bob Goodman and his wife, Rosemary, are coming out against the bills advocates say aim to restrict the LGBTQ plus community while making it known their business. Robert Goodman Jewelers in Zionsville is an accepting business for all people. And it's addressing their desire, as it appears to both Rosemary and I, to erase a community from this from, from existing in our state. I, 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 I have to say, I don't understand what they're so scared of. Goodman's is not the only store to come out in support of the LGBTQ plus community. Silver in the City in downtown Indianapolis posted on Facebook in support, describing the business as a place where an LGBTQ plus child can feel seen, welcomed, and accepted exactly as they are. The post continued saying in part, this session slate of bills targeting the LGBTQ community and youth, their parents, teachers, librarians, and health care providers are counter to this state's motto of Hoosier hospitality. Goodman says he finds this behavior very concerning as a Jewish individual. I'm Jewish, right? And so is my wife. I look back and I see that this is happening, this has happened before, and it appears that it's happening again. And so it really strikes home to me as to as to why you're, you're they're, they're doing this. Goodman spoke about the Holocaust and noted the LGBTQ plus community was targeted alongside the Jewish community. The United States Holocaust Memorial Museum estimates hundreds to thousands of LGBTQ plus people were killed. We have to stand up for each other. We have to be there. You know, what they want to do is divide and conquer. They want to split us all off from one another, and that way they can beat us easier. Other LGBTQ plus advocacy groups have denounced these bills as they have come out, saying they're harmful to the community. The Indy Rainbow Chamber of Commerce keeps a list of LGBTQ plus friendly businesses on their website. Now, we made it easier for you to check out that list. Just scan the QR code on your screen. That will take you to a direct link on our website, wishtv.com, on the As Seen On section. I'm Danielle Zolkowski for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and like us on Facebook.